Hello Young Learners! Welcome to my channel! Today, our topic is about rounding up numbers. When do we round a number up? We round a number up if the digit we are rounding is followed by 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. Or if the digit at the right side of the digit we are rounding is 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9. Now, let's try to answer this activity. Instruction. Tell whether the following numbers are to be rounded up or not. Say yes or no. Take note that the underlined digit is the digit to be rounded off. Okay, this is our number 1. The number here is 1,895. And the underlying digit here is 1. What do you think? Are we going to round this up or no? You are correct. Very good. The answer here is yes. Why? Because the number at the right side of 1 is 8. Very good. Next, number 2. The number is 42,720. And the underlined digit here is 2. Okay, are we going to round this number up or no? You are correct. Very good. The answer is yes. We are going to round this number up because the number that we're going to round off here is 2. And 2 is followed by 7. Okay, number 3 and this is our last number. The number is 94,196. And the digit that we're going to round off here is 4. Are we going to round this number up or no? Okay, we are not going to round this number up. So the answer is no. Why? Because the digit that we're going to round off here is 4. And the number that we can find at the right side of 4 is 1. Are we going to round this number up? No. Because the digit that we're going to round off here is 4. Because this is the underlying digit. And the number at the right side of 4 is 1. So we are not going to round this number up. So the answer is no. Okay, good job. Well done, everyone. Okay, now... Just always remember that we round a number up if the digit we are rounding is followed by 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. Now that you already know when to round a number up, let me ask you this question. What will happen if we round a number up? Well, when we round a number up, we add 1 to the digit that we are rounding. Then, Change all the digits to its right into 0 and copy the digit or digits to its left. Okay, take a look at the following examples here. Okay, number 1. The number is 284. And the underlined digit here is 2. So, we're going to round off 2 here. What number comes after 2? Or what number is found at the right side of 2? It's 8. Therefore, we're going to round this number up. Okay? We're going to round this number up. And if we're going to round a number up, we're going to add 1 to the digit that we are rounding. Since we are rounding 2 here, so we add 1 to 2. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. After adding 1 to the digit we are rounding, we're going to change all the digits to its right into 0. Since there are two digits here, which are 8 and 4, so we're going to change these digits here into 0. So 8 will become 0, and 4 will become 0. So we have here 300. Then, we're going to copy the digit or digits to its left. But since there is no digit at the left side of 2, so we have nothing to copy here. So our final answer here is 300. So 284 is rounded up to 300. 
Okay. So let me erase this one. And let us proceed with our next example. Okay. Example number two. The number is 1,563. And the underlying digit here is 1. Okay. So what is the number at the right side of 1? Very good. It's 5. Since the number at the right side of 1 is 5, so we're going to round this number up. Okay. So we're going to round this number up. And if we're going to round a number up, we're going to add 1 to the digit we are rounding. Since 1 is the digit we are rounding here, so we add 1 to 1. So 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. And then we're going to change all the digits to its right into 0. So 5 will become 0, 6 will become 0, and 3 will also become 0. So we have here the answer of 2,000. Since there is no digit at the left side of 1, so we have nothing to copy here. So our final answer is 2,000. So 1,563 is rounded up to 2,000. Okay, let me erase this one again. And let's proceed with our last example. Example number 3. The number is 34,971. And we're going to run this number here. This is our underlined number. Okay, now, what number follows 4? Okay, it's 9. Very good. 9 is the digit at the right side of 4. So, therefore, we are going to round this up. Okay. Now, what are we going to do if we're rounding up a number? Very good. We're going to add 1 to the digit that we are rounding. And since 4 is the digit that we are rounding here, so we add 1 to 4. So, 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. And then, we're going to change all the digits to its right into 0. So, 9 will become 0, 7 will become 0, and 1 will become 0. And then, we're going to copy the digit or digits at the left side of 4. Since the digit that we can see here is 3, so we're going to copy 3 here. Okay? 34,971 is rounded up to 35,000. So, that's it for today. Thanks for watching! This has been your teacher M saying, keep learning, keep growing. Bye!